Hey everyone, Darren Carnell here. Welcome back to my studio again. Um, I hope you're all doing well. I've bought myself a new thing for my studio and it's something that if you are a miniature painter, you may have used before. I never have, so this is exciting for me. Um, I normally do all of my um, paint color mixing on this thing. It's an old, cheap 99p palette that I got years ago. And if I'm mixing large amounts of colors, like if I'm painting an entire head with a base coat, or if I'm working on a statue and doing larger amounts, I'll just mix a load of paint in there or something. Um, there was paint in there. Um, mix a load of paint in there um, and just make enough to work with. But when I'm doing the small, subtle things like blood vessels on a face or cheek blushing or you know the, the bags, the dark shadows under someone's eyes or anything like that, I do the same thing. I just mix the color that I need, a small amount, make it as wet or as thin down as I need it to be and do the work. Now it's never normally a problem because I normally get the work done before it dries because I'm only doing small areas. But sometimes I'll be working on a thing. If I'm working on, let's say I want to put some blood vessels on someone's cheeks and I'm working on one side and I'm trying to get it just right. Then I'll go back to the paint and it's dried. That's happened to me before. So I will, and it's never been a problem. I've never really considered it to be anything that could be made better, I would just mix the same colour again, get the different colours that I use, drop them out, make a small amount again, thin it down the same amount, and carry on working. It was just always how I did it. But I have seen recently, or in the last six months or so, people, uh, different miniature painters, using or talking about one of these things, a wet palette. Now, this is actually bigger than I thought it was. I ordered it thinking it was this size. Look how big it is. <laughs> I will have to change how I lay out my desk before I use this, I think. But for those who don't know, obviously those who do, you'll be thinking, oh, he's explaining it wrong. But this is new to me, so forgive me. But those who don't know, a wet palette is essentially a very shallow tray that has at the bottom a layer of absorbent material, so that could be layers of kitchen roll, it could be thin sponge. Um, in this case, it seems to be like really thick watercolour paper. Um, and you put water in that, you allow that to soak in water. And then on top of that, you put a layer of, it's like greaseproof paper, like what people use for baking and stuff. You put a layer of that on top, that gets wet from the water underneath doesn't soak right through so it's not puddles of water it's just it's wet on you know the, the the surface of the paper is wet and then you mix your colors on that and then when you're done you put the lid on and you can go back to it later on and the paint will still be there now i've seen very different wildly different um suggestions as to how long the paint will stay wet. I've seen some people say it works for a couple of hours for them. I've seen other people say it stays wet for days. I suspect it depends what kind of tray you have and how airtight it is and stuff like that. I'll find out for myself. To be honest, as long as it's something like, as long as it's longer than half an hour or something, that's probably all I'm going to need. Because I've only, I've never wanted to go back to painting a day later and have the same color i would always just mix it again um it's always just if i'm mixing a tiny amount of paint to do something tiny and then before i get to use it again in the same session or even just the session after and maybe like the following hour go back to try and do it it's dried very quickly because when you're using small amounts it dries really quickly and then I've had to mix it again. Now that in those cases, it would actually be useful to be able to go, yep, there's that same color, I'll carry on. So I'm gonna be using this for now. I'm gonna be trying this. I might not get on with it. I might try it and go, oh, that's horrible. I don't like it. And just go back to this. I don't know. What I suspect, what I kind of hope 
is that if I'm just mixing big flat colors to paint an entire head with a base coat or something like that, I'll probably mix them in here somewhere and just use this for that. If I'm doing small mixing colors that I might want to use again and again, maybe like a, if there's a purpley red, which I might want to use to do blood vessels on the cheeks and I might want to do some shading on a forehead and I could also use it around some eyes and maybe I could even use it on some lips then I'll probably do those kinds of colours on this thing now I haven't opened it yet it's basically I've got a spare pack of stuff here it's the it des describes it as the keep wet paper <laughs> the base layer that soaks up the water and the paper that goes on top it's just a few sheets of each um, and it's a very thin, it's only thin plastic. It was a few quid, it was like five pound or seven pound or something like that. Um, it's only made of cheap, cheap plastic, but what I, I'm not gonna be hitting things with it. I only need it to be cheap plastic, but it's big. Now on one hand, that's great because it'll let me mix loads of different colors. And in theory, keep them workable as long as the, you know, the session is the thing that I'm working on. Wherever the commissioner is working on a full head, all the colors might stay wet through the entire process, I don't know. Um, but I'll find out. So I've got a Wilson Fisk head coming up um, that I'm going to be filming for my Patreon tutorials. Um, so it's going to be shown from start to finish um, how I would paint Wilson Fisk, um, Vincent D'Onofrio, and make him look alive. It's a reasonably good sculpt. Um, I think I can make it look really like him and add a lot of life to the character and you know, the intense brooding look that he has. I want to try and enhance that with paint. So that's coming up over on my Patreon. If you're not on Patreon, you will see it eventually. I will do a small 10 minute edited video when I get the time, when it's been finished for YouTube um, and photos will go everywhere eventually. Um, but I'm going to be using this for that and we'll see how it goes. So I just wanted to do a short video to say, yep, I've got some new toys in my studio. Ow, I just bang my elbow on the desk. <laughs> and we'll see how it goes. So there you go. Uh, wish me luck because I've never used it before. I'm honestly looking at this, I'm thinking, oh, I don't know how I'm going to work with this. <laughs> All of you out there who already use these things, and a few people have told me over the last year or two, Darren, you should really be using a wet palette, you know. At first I was like, what's one of them? I'd never heard of it. So this will be interesting and kind of scary to try. Um, but at least everyone on my Patreon will get to watch me do it and go, oh my God, he's making such a mess of this. Because that's what I do. But I usually get the results in the end, so that's kind of the point. So, I'm going to go. This was just a short video. Um, take care of yourselves, guys. Have a good evening or weekend or day or whenever you're watching this. Um, look after yourselves. Be nice to other people. Be nice to animals. And I will see you soon. There's more stuff coming. I'm getting busier again now. I've had a, a, a few months, quite a few months, since last year of struggling to work as much as I wanted to. Um, you know, just look, looking after family members and stuff like that. Um, that seems to be getting better now and I'm spending much more time in my studio, which means much more painting, more commissions, more photos, more tutorials, more videos. <sighs> it should be good. So I'm gonna go because right, I've got things to do. Um, take care and I will see you soon. Send me any messages if you want, ask me any questions if you want. Um, I try and go through all of them whenever I can. I usually reply to everybody. Um, that's it. Look after yourselves, I'll see you soon. Take care guys, bye.